any fat maps uh, go on my lap. Um. <laughs> I can't. Can I? Okay, stop, 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 stop. I can't, I can't go in the white over <laughs> there. Now I can go. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to story time for today. Where? Where's? There's Annika. Where's everybody? Well, they're on their computers or their phones or their tablets so they can watch us. You going to say hi to everybody? Mm -mm. No? Okay. Zena might say hi to all of us. Come here, Zizi. Zizi! Zizi! Here, Zena's going to say hi to everybody today. This is Zena. The cats and the dogs are all a little mad at me still because they all got baths yesterday. So, you know. They're all dirty, but. Now they're all clean. They're still wet. They're not still wet. They dried off overnight. We have a numbers and shapes story time with a little bit of a twist today. I want to see. We have the legend of rock, paper, scissors. And we have seven, eight, nine. What's seven, eight, nine? The number seven gets a little hungry and eats the number nine. So all the other numbers are scared of number seven. So this is a pretty funny, actually both stories are pretty funny. And we need some funniness in our world today. Good morning, Nick. We're what? doing all right. How are you? Okay. You're fine. So we'll start in just a couple minutes. We'll give everyone a couple more minutes to log on. It's him. So far, it's just Nick. I know that not everyone can watch live, and that's okay. So hello to all of you who are not officially logged in, and everyone who will watch this later today or tomorrow. Or whenever they need a story. Um, we were going to make cloud dough with this recipe or with the story for story time. So I will post that recipe um, in the comments afterwards. It's pretty easy. I believe it's just one or two or um, two or three ingredients. And it should be all stuff that you have at home already. So I'll post that um recipe so if that's something you want to do later today it's like play-doh but it's supposed to be lighter and fluffier so we can do that we'll post the the recipe for that i'm gonna do that one first we're gonna do this one first all right well we'll wait just a little bit longer and then we'll start I think Free. Do you want to show everybody the picture you're working on? A horsey! Monica's been working on this horse picture this morning. Now we're putting in the sky. So she's coloring while I'm reading. Because I need to find a horse, but I saw a drawing of a horse. She's really into horses right now, and I keep telling her that she can't have one until she's ready to shovel its poop, because I'm not going to do it. And then we get the uh, nose map on your nose. A nose map? Uh-huh, so you won't smell a poop. Oh, a mask. Yeah, because we don't want to smell the poop because it's gross. Right. Horse poop's kind of yucky. All right, friends. We are going to sing our little, or do our little chant, and then we'll start reading. Ready? Everybody count one. One. Story time has just begun. Everybody count two. Shake your shoulders. 
Show your bare feet. <laughs> Show your bare feet. <laughs> Show your shoes or your bare feet. Annika even has glitter on the bottom of her feet because she has this green hat that's shedding glitter all over the place. Um. And they can. Good morning, have Adrian and, then and yeah. Quinn and Evie. Evie, sorry, I keep saying it wrong. No, it is Evie. Oh my goodness. Um. Well, you know, cat poop is a little bit easier to deal with than horse poop. It's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit more contained. <laughs> All right, interruption over. Everybody count three. Yeah, because I keep going to four. You keep going to four. All right, well, listen very carefully. Everybody count four. Five. What do we have to do for four? Put your bottoms on the couch. On the couch. Or the chair, or the floor, or the bed, or wherever you're listening from today. All right, so we are going to start with The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew DeWalt. So this book was recommended to me by um, a teacher, and she said her class absolutely loved it. And I'd seen it on the shelf, and I was like, ah, I don't know. And then I read it, and I laughed hysterically. So I decided that we needed a laugh. So story time book it is. All right, I'm going to tilt the camera so you can see it better. The Legend. Rock, paper, scissors. Mm. And then you can play rock, paper, scissors this afternoon, too. Here we go. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, which, you know, hopefully we'll all still get to go to today, because it's still supposed to be nice, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Dun, dun, dun. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of Over by the Tire Swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. What? Drop no. that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man! I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior! Rock versus clothespin. Ding! Rock is victorious. The clothespin broke. Oh no. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he it's journeyed so on for me. to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock! Versus apricot! I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Who do you think's gonna win? I don't know. Rock is victorious! Ugh! I am smushed! And yes, smushing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? 
They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Backyard in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's home office, on lonely and winds on a lonely and windswept desk, Mountain, a second great warrior, sought the glory of battle. And his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There he met a large square monster. It's a large one. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my... Hold on. Taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper, Jim. Paper is... Victorious! I wish I can't go in there. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to Pit of Office Trash Bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The Half-Eaten Bag of Trail Mix! Who's going to win? I don't know. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, foul wizard, he's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddies. Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She, too, was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round... Some of these words I'm having trouble with be upside down. Monstrosity! I will battle you and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Hmm, who's gonna win? I don't know. Is it gonna be scissors? Uh -huh. Or tape? Scissors. Scissors versus roll of tape. Chop, 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 chop. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid wastes of refrigerator, freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen, breaded chicken. <laughs> Didn't he eat it? I have come the far, from far... The, from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow before our child pleasing shape and flavor, sword master. No one can resist no, our crunchy awesomeness. Mean. 
Scissors versus dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. Who's gonna win? Um, I don't know. Dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets win? Do they win? Uh -huh. No, wait! No! They don't! Scissors is victorious again! She stabbed them all. I am so good that not even dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets can beat me! Okay. And so. I been, I didn't, I scissors. I been that wide. And so, scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenge who was her equal. I'm a little busy with my artwork. Mm -hmm. Then one day, in the great cavern of Two Car Garage, Rock and Scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes, yes I am wearing my battle pants, weird, scissory one. Hmm. <laughs> It's Rock so hard, versus Scissors! I want to go back up. Mm. An epic and legendary battle I don't ensued. Want to see but it ultimately, anymore. Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by mm. beating me! I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. I know. We're almost done with this one, and then we'll read another one. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper! <gasps> Could it be? This is the best day of my life! Thank you for winning, oh great knight of paper! That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper! You beat me! And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had each other meet their matches, or they had met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. I want to round draw and round a, they went in the most spoon. massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. But those are not rhyming words. No, they're not rhyming words. <laughs> All right, there's that one. Now, the numbers are going to get a little bit silly. And then we'll sing a song. I don't want to sing a song. Oh, well, we're going to I always anyway. have seen a song. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that you're so grumpy. <laughs> this is called Seven, Eight, Nine by Tara Lazar and illustrated by Ross McDonald. Picture. Are they? Picture. Seven, eight, nine. The untold story. Dun, da, dun. 
I was dozing in my chair when an urgent banging on my office door bolted me awake. It was six. Something had scared the pants off him. Seven is coming to get me, said six. No, this is a funny one, but I do not like funny ones. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> As a private eye, I'm used to his type. Numbers. They're always stuck in a problem. But I knew about this seven fella. He was odd. Take it easy, six, I said. What's seven up to? Word on the street is that seven, eight, nine. And now he's after me said six well technically he's always after you i said there's five then six then seven see that proves it i told six not to panic stay here i'll get to the root of this i hope so said six i fear my days are numbered <laughs> First, I was looking for eight. She's usually between seven and eight, or seven and nine. I found her at the corner of Second Avenue and Fourth Street, but eight knew nothing. Nada. Zilch. I'm sad. You're sad. If it's true, said eight, then I'm next in line. In a flash, she took off her belt. Now eight looked just like zero. Good disguise. I needed a solid lead. I strolled into Cafe Uno, leaned on the counter, and ordered a slice of pie. B, the waitress, had the scoop. Yeah, I heard seven, eight, nine, she said. So you haven't seen nine around, I asked. Negative, said B. He just disappeared. So nine was gone. I couldn't let seven be the one who got away. But I needed more data. I went to see eleven. She... And seven are like two peas in a pod. Seven couldn't have done it, said Eleven. He's on vacation. Are you sure? I pro prodded. I'm positive. I saw him leave. Hmm. But if seven was gone, then where was nine? It didn't add up. Frustrated. I headed back uptown. That's when I saw him crossing the street. Finally, I put two and two together. Hmm. I had to get back to the office. On the double, I told the driver. Is that five? Mm-hmm. I busted through my office door and found six taking 40 winks. I'm, I'm tired of this story. I have solved this numerical nonsense, I cried. I grabbed six and turned him upside down. His true color was revealed. Just as I suspected, my client Six was really nine. You had everyone worried, nine, I said. Why did you say that seven ain't nine? Because seven gets all the attention. Lucky seven. Seven wonders of the world. Snow White and the seven dwarfs. Figures. 
Nine felt like he didn't measure up. Seven, seven, seven. It's like I don't exist. Folks hurry right past me on their way to ten. Don't even get me started on ten. Everyone thinks he's perfect. I zeroed in on nine. Are you kidding? You should, you should be on cloud nine right now. Happy as can be. The whole nine yards. How come? Asked Nine. Because you've got nine lives. That's when Eleven showed up. Look who's back, she said. It was Seven. Um, stammered Nine. No hard feelings, Seven, old pal. Sure, let's not be divided, said Seven. Seven seemed awfully pleased for a number who had been framed. <coughs> Why so happy, Seven? I asked. I don't want to have story time anymore. I'm sorry, but we're not quite done yet. <laughs> I just sailed the seven seas and I'm in seventh heaven. <laughs> At last, everyone was back in order. And now I could take letter cases again. Letters can be wordy at times. I don't want to do it anymore. Letters can be wordy at times, but they're A-OK -okay in my book. Okay, you need to quit walking back and forth between the camera. The next day, okay. while I dozing... I can't the okay. to walk. Oh, my goodness. The next day, while dozing in my chair, my phone bolted me awake. I'd recognize her voice anywhere. It was two. With another problem to solve, I've really got to change my number. <sighs> All right. Mm -hmm. No, I'm done. Well, we're going to sing a song. No, no, no. And then we're going to sing our goodbye song. And no. Then we can be done. No. Right. No. 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 You're no, going to have no, to help no. me with this one. This is called Hands Up High. Because I don't have a rock, paper, scissors song or a number song. I, I have a number song. What is your number song? I don't know. Oh, okay, I figured. This is to the tune of London Bridge. So we're seeing that for a second. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Well, we're going to sing Hands Up High instead. So can you move your hands with me? Okay, grumpy. All right. So first we wave our hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. First we wave our hands up high. Then we clap them. Then we shake our hands down low, hands down low, hands down low. Then we shake our hands down low. Then we hide them. All right, we'll do it one more time. Ready? Get your hands ready. Okay. First we shake our hands. Hold our hands up. Wait. Oh, sorry. Wave. Then shake. First we wave our hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. First we wave our hands up high, then we clap them. Then we shake our hands down low, hands, hands down low, hands down low. Then we shake our hands down low, then we hide them. All right, crazy girl. Don't write all over me, please. All right. Keeps going around. Around and around and around, huh? Uh-huh. All food this. All food downstairs. All right. So I will again. I'll post the cloud dough um recipe in the comments here in just a few minutes because I have to pull it off of it's Pinterest dirty again. It's on the floor. So if you want to make cloud dough today. Um, that's what we were going to do if we were at the library for story time with these books.
Um, I ordered dead. another Easter book. I'm not sure that it's going to be here in time for Thursday or Friday story time, but we'll see what we can do. Um, I do I have want, one for sure. I want, I want, <laughs> I want to make cloud dough. Well, we can make cloud dough as soon as mommy pulls the ingredients off the internet. I have it saved in my Pinterest. I just have to put it up here. Um, so we'll sing our alligator goodbye song and then Miss Becca will read to you tomorrow and then I will be back on Friday to read to you and we'll continue this every day as long as the library is closed. So love you all, miss well, you all. We have to do hope that we can all be well, back we together have to again do soon. Door time at home. Because the library is closed. I really don't like this. <laughs> you know what? Most of us don't like this. All right, so we'll sing our alligator goodbye song, and I will say goodbye my for today, friends. and I'll post that stuff up I for miss you. I my friends. Yeah, I think we all miss our friends. All right. Please. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. All right, and thank you all for watching, and hope that I can see you all again soon. So tune in tomorrow to Ms. Becca, and um, we miss you too. And then I'll be back on Friday, hopefully with some Easter stuff for you. All right. Take care, everyone. You going to say bye? No. All right. Cranky Pants over here is not going to say goodbye. Everything.